That's the ride, my man. What's up? God, I've been praying that I get this no go. Okay, let's see what this Solomon wants. Or, <laughs> not what he wants. He doesn't even know us yet, but, uh. I'm carrying a let's see what we can get from him. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is gonna kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. All right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Surprised that these cars are here just conveniently placed. I have to run face. like five miles we to catch one car. Turn that radio off so I can talk. Okay. Actually, I have nothing to say. <laughs> like always, but... Um, let me see. Well, I want to know how you guys are doing. For one. If you're still around. How are you doing with school or your jobs? Oh my god. Winter is fastly approaching. Oh, one second. Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. So... I don't know, I'm just throwing this out there, it's irrelevant, but winter is actually my favorite time of the year. It's getting very cold out now. Well, sometimes. It's kind of hot still, but I'd rather be freaking freezing than just dying in the blazing heat. Okay, I think this is where I get off. And then... Okay.
Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Reach the helipad without alerting Rocco. Okay, yeah, so we have to get up that ladder right there. Okay, yeah, jump it. Now, my personal playthrough, when I wasn't recording... Oh, crap. Yeah, I didn't get caught last time in my personal playthrough, but, um... Hopefully I won't get caught this time, either. Oh wait, there's a guy up here. Damn it. Um, okay, move up, move up, move up. I'm not sure if he's gonna get up again or not, but Whoa, you need to go. Sight's closed, pal. You're about to have an angry orange dude on you. Rocco, you said Paul. Aw oh, crap. <laughs> I was about to take him out. Okay, yeah, I can't remember how I did this last time, but okay. Yeah, I got caught there that time. Alright, let's try this again. I know you gotta go stealthy like this so they don't hear you. Those two guys have their backs turned so they won't see me. Oh, you know what? Why don't I just pound the guy or something instead of just sneaking or sneaking, sneaking behind them or something? Because I totally forgot I can do that. Did that work? Sweet, it did. Alright, yeah, I'll definitely use that to my advantage now, because I it totally slipped my mind at first. Did Rock talk to you about the grotto style setup in the back? I mix concrete pal to make boots, you get me? It ain't gotta last, it's just gotta open. You busted my ball. It's as simple as that. You hit the deadline. Um, all right, now I gotta move. McElroy, Milton McElroy, I find me. Seriously. I must be purely on the here now. You don't need to stop you, you ask. Now I'm telling you not to stop me. I'm telling you to be. I think this is the only time Raku can see me. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Alright, let's see what she got. Oh, too slow. Come on. Hey! Huh? Oh, yeah, I forgot about my strength stat. Ouch. Okay. Who is this guy? Ah, uh, how did I miss that one? Come on. Oh, I got him. Alright, straight hand. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. Oh uh, yeah. Okay? Sure, man, sure. Alright. 
Let's get back to the lot. Whoa, whoa, hey! Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are! Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security! I'm Solomon's assistant! I'm really uh, gonna try to scare these guys. Your fine wood career just ended before it began, buddy. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Stop being a bully, okay? Oh my gosh, that was so close. the studio too. Not sure where I can land, hey, but Milton, what? I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, he should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I am an artist, dude. Solomon's office. Come on. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love you. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah. Uh. I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir, and I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume, but would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need... An associate producer? I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. 